Hello and welcome to NBC News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. Vidarbha is the main power generating center of the state. The electricity generated in Vidarbha region is used by the whole of Maharashtra state. The people of Vidarbha and mainly the farmers and other consumers are suffering from the inflated electricity bills issues. Yet, neither electricity bills nor excess amount was forgiven. More importantly, the public is literally being looted by imposing unrealistic interest rate on pending bills. There are threats from local authorities that people should pay the bills within a certain date, otherwise the connection will be cut off. This is to be pursued as MBCD sales flying attitude. Jwala Jamuntra Dhote, NCP leader and chairperson of Vidarbha Abhay Nirvan Samiti addressed a gathering in this concern. She met Dilip Dorke, superintending engineer, and submitted a memorandum to MBCD CL officials to immediately waive off the interest on the overdue electricity bills. In yet another shocking incident, a jilted lover attempted to kill his girlfriend by stabbing her in a Butibori area. The accused was identified as Mayur Sanjay Mahajan, a resident of Kachgao district, Jalgao. Mayur and Rani were working in the same firm at Pune in 2018. Mayur and Rani became friends while working and their friendship blossomed into love soon. After leaving job, Rani was living with her parents. And Desperation to get married, Mayur came to her house on Sunday. He told her parents he wanted to marry Rani. The parents agreed to their marriage and asked Mayur to call his parents for the discussion. But as his parents could not come, an argument ensued, resulting eventually in Mayur inflicting severe injuries on the girl by a knife. An offense under Section 307 of IPC was registered by Butikori Police. The government of Maharashtra has directed the municipal corporation across the state to implement the Maji Vasundara Abhiyan from 2nd October 2020 to 31st March 2021. The campaign is being implemented effectively in city limits and action taken in this regard was reviewed by additional commissioner Sanjay Nipane on Tuesday. The meeting was held in the room of additional commissioner Sanjay Nipane in the Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj administrative building. The meeting was attended by Superintendent Engineer Dr. Shweta Banerjee, Deputy Chief Executive Officer of Nagpur Smart and Sustainable City Development Corporation Limited, Mahesh Morone, Deputy Commissioner Amol Chorpaga, Deputy Commissioner Solid Waste Management Dr. Pradeep Dasarwar, Assistant Director Town Planning Pramod, Executive Engineer Electrical A.S. Mankar, Executive Engineer Dhanajay Mendulkar, Executive Engineer Ujwal Dhanvijay, Public Health Engineer Sandeep Lokhande, Subdivisional Engineer Ruprao Raut and other officials were prominently present on this occasion. In a shocking revelation that adds a notorious tag to the crime habitat of Nagpur, the NCRB in its report put this city at a second spot in the highest number of murders committed per one lakh population as with the data for 2019. For the same year, Patna, the capital of Bihar, tops the list. Patna has 4.7 murders per one lakh population while Nagpur has 3.6 murders. In Delhi, the rate is 3.1. In Jaipur, it is 3.0. And in Lucknow, it is 2.6. Mumbai and Pune are among the top 20 cities in India. In Mumbai, the figure is just 0.9. The report came as a shock for Nagpur police officials as the data tabled by COP shows otherwise. From 112 murders in 2011 to 95 murders in 2016, Nagpur is witnessing a drop in crime every passing year. The project affected people have complained that the land was allotted in a wrong manner while rehabilitating Shivanga village PAPs. Taking note of this, an inquiry should be held into this distribution, said Maharashtra Energy Minister and Guardian Minister of Nagpur District Dr. Nitin Rao. In this regard, the Guardian Minister presided over a meeting at Bachat Bhavan in the collectorate premises. A large number of project affected persons were present at this time. MRA Nago Ganar, MRA Raju Parve, MRA Techan Savarkar, District Collector Ravindra Thakre, Nagpur Municipal Commissioner Radhakrishnan B, Chief Executive Officer of Zila Parishad Yogesh Kumbhajkar, Prapul Gunde Patil, and others were present at this meeting. MRA Gana said that the project affected people were at the view that the land was allotted in a wrong way during rehabilitation process. Various other issues were discussed too in this meeting. Before we end, let us take a look at Corona update today. 
Today, 341 positive patients found in Nagpur district while 7 succumbed to this virus. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned within the same news. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family. Keep watching NBC News. Sachi Dikhaya, Vinachupai.